Hello, it's Jerome Fryer of Dynamic Chiropractic Clinic. I just wanted to quickly share with you a case I had uh, two days ago, and um, it was um, a patient was symptomatic as a result of going from sitting to standing. Okay, so after a prolonged period of sitting, and then she had symptoms like, oh, the sore when she got up. Um, also stand and when, when she actually increased her stride length when she started walking faster there was some soreness that generated right around in this region in here I'd immediately suspected an annular fissure an annular fissure is a fissure that is part of the annulus they give it like a dike breach uh, and then on the outer aspect of the annulus when the person bends forward it opens, let's just take a cross section through here, we'll take off this vertebrae. There is, see this right here? But when the person bends forward, okay, the nucleus, which is this gelatinous material in here, pushes backwards into, see how it kind of opens, right? A little fissure, right? And these are, innervated so this actually has nerves so what was going on was she was repetitively re repetitively moving in a state of flexion which was bugging her back so when she sat for a period of time the spine rounded this way and it reached its end range and it would open the fissure it's, uh, some surgeons call it interposed disc herniation so in between the the annulus the nucleus pushes backwards so ultimately think of it like a cut you know what, what's the solution think of it like a cut on the skin okay significant one what's the strategy to allow that to heal right if it's bad enough you need stitches pulling it together or you try not to disrupt the healing process so you approximate the two sides of and you know what I think it's similar to the spine in the disc you want to approximate allow these tissues to kind of hold together the best you can to give it a chance to heal if you keep breaking it open breaking it open it can lead to uh, a disc herniation which is where it actually extrudes right out like this so what do you do you want to cast it just like when someone gets a broken bone, you want to cast it for a period of time to allow healing to take place. And the best strategy uh, to do it when it comes to an annular fissure in the lumbar spine, here's a femur, an actual femur, right? Femur, leg bone, right here, right? You want to move th about your hip. So when you move about your hip, when you go to grab for things, not your spine. Okay, so a little bit more with model here. So when you go to bend, I, we call it the hip hinge. So when you go to bend, you want to keep this lordosis. You want to keep the annular fissure in approximation, stiffen it, keep it together, so it doesn't open up and spread and become <clears throat> inflammatory, more inflammatory. So here's the, right? This is what you want to use to move, right? It's called a hip hinge. This, you can see, it's like a ball and socket designed to rotate, right? This is more like a fabric and you need to hold those tissues together. So when you do your, when you go to reach, for example, do your, you know, your dishes, dishwasher, washing machine, garbage, flush the toilet, grab the shampoo bottle, not in my case. Uh, you want to pivot about the hip, not the spine. Right? If you chronically keep bending the spine over and over again when you have this annular fissure, it really has a hard time healing. So I hope that was helpful.